Welcome back to You Can Do It. Have you watched my first, second, and third video? Have you shown the magic to anyone? Have you do the eco ketupat? If you haven't, just do it. Today, I'm going to show you number magic. Please choose a number and keep it in your mind. Okay. All right. Is your number at the top or at the side? Side. Side. So now is your number at the top or at the bottom? Top. Top. Okay. Now? How about now? Top. Top. All right. Now the last and final one. Is it? At the top or at the bottom? Top. Top. Is the number you chose 10? Yes. How you know it? It's time to learn. I am a teacher. Let's learn together. First, we need to make these four cards. How? By using an A4 paper. First, we need to put the A4 paper into a triangle like that. Then, we need to, you can cut off the edges. And we open it and fold it into half like that. And fold it into a half. So it will become a square. Open it and tear it. Open both of it. Put it together. Put it together. And tear it. So you'll have four square papers. Now, you take one of it and fold it into half and same goes to here and open all of it and fold it to the center crease and fold it. So it becomes a small rectangle. Open it and fold it to the center crease on the other side and do the same thing with it. So you have 16 boxes here in total. Do the same thing to the other three. We need to fold it because we need the creases to write the numbers in. Let me show you how. First, you need to take the first piece of paper and write the numbers from 1 to 12. 1 to 12. Then, you need to write something in the middle. For me, I wrote my channel's name. You can do it. You can draw a star, a love, a triangle, or anything you want to draw. This is to let you know that this is the piece of paper you need to ask the audience to choose a number. Now you need to turn the piece of paper around and write the numbers 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, 12 on the top and 3, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11 on the side. You need to write two numbers in one box. Next, take the second piece of paper and cut two boxes on the top and two boxes here. After that, you write 1, 2, 3, and 6, 10, 11 on the top and 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 12 on the bottom. You need to write the center number on the center crease here. Same goes to the bottom. On the third piece of paper, you need to cut two boxes at the side and two boxes at the bottom here. After that, you need to write the numbers 1, 5, 8, 9, 10, and 12 on the top and 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 11 on the bottom. On the top, you need to write two boxes in one box, I mean two numbers in one box, but on the bottom, you need to write the middle number on the center crease here. On the last piece of paper, you need to cut a square which contains 
four small boxes. After that, you need to write the numbers 1, 2, 9, 10, 11, 12 on the top and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on the bottom. You need to write the middle number on the center crease here and same goes to the bottom. Now, you have these four cards ready. So, you need to take the first card with your logo or anything you wrote or draw on it and ask the audience to choose a number. Now, Mommy, can you please choose a number? Mm, okay. Alright. So, now we can start with any card. So, I'm going to start with this. Is your card, is your number at the top or at the bottom? Bottom. Bottom. So, you need to code it like that. Remember, the first card, the number must be always facing you. Remember that the audience say the number is at the bottom because the following cards must follow this side. Next card, is your number at the top or the bottom? Top. It's at the top. So, you must turn it around and put it like that because the first card, the number is at the bottom so the top must also face the bottom. Now it's the third card. Is your number at the top or the bottom? Bottom. Bottom. So you must put it like that. It's the same direction as the first card because the number is also at the bottom. Now the last and final card, the fourth card. Is your number at the top or at the side? Top. Top. So, you must turn it around and put it upside down. It goes same like the second card. Is the number you chose 8? Yes, I got it. Have you figured out how to do it? Is it easy? Let's show this magic to everyone. Keep it up. Please subscribe my channel, stay tuned for my next video, and bye for now!